on today's whiskey review. Old Elk Single Barrel, six years old, Tasters Club Edition. Let's go. What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. And on today's video we are doing Old Elk Single Barrel, six year old, Tasters Club Edition. All right, now first things first, this bottle is decanter worthy. This bottle is an S tier bottle itself. The shape of it, the labeling, it all looks amazing. If you empty one of these, keep it as a decanter, even the cork, look at that thing. We haven't even popped it yet, but it's got like the antler uh, kind of cork top there. It looks amazing. Old Elk is a cool sounding name. Everything about this bottle is on point. This specific bottle of Old Elk Single Barrel is age six years. It is 111.2 proof and it is the Tasters Club edition. So I got this in the mail via Tasters Club for a total of $90. So that's generally a little bit more than you would pay for an Old Elk Single Barrel, but that's what you get when you're doing the Surprise Whiskey of the Month Club, which I enjoy. So take it or leave it. And it's single barrel, but I was reading through the Tasters Club notes and you can see here on the label the tasters club exclusive but i was reading through the tasters club notes and it may actually be a mix of like three or four single barrels that they put into these bottles to put out for the shipment today so i have never had an old elk before if you guys don't know greg metz his name's on the label that's the guy who is the master distiller here so we're gonna try it out i've heard good things the bottle is amazing hopefully the bourbon's just as good. All right, let's do the antler cork pop. Ooh, very nice cork pop there. Like I said, so cool. It's got some labeling on top of the antler cork there. I don't think it's real antler, but it still looks really cool. All right, let's pour this out, see what we get. All right. Very excited for this. I have high hopes here. We've got a lighter orangish color here on this bourbon from Old Elk. We're gonna see what it's like on the nose first. And if you guys don't know here on Whiskey Tears, we try everything three different ways. So we're gonna do that in today's video. A woody smoked caramel, some marshmallow in there. Just a hint of the red fruits. I think they're more of a light red fruits, kind of like a unripened strawberry or Yeah, like an unripened strawberry or maybe even like a really, really freshly picked plum that's still kind of hard that hasn't really softened up into that nice plumminess yet. But that smoked caramel and that woodiness is predominant here, what I'm getting on the nose. The nose is very nice. I like the nose, the, that, sm that smoky caramel, woody. It's not like overly woody. It's just that nice balance between those three main components there on the nose. And then you get that little bit of extra red fruits mixed in as well. Not really too much spice. Maybe a hint of cinnamon. Hint of cinnamon in there. All right, so we've smelled it. Now let's taste it. Mm. After the finish is a little off, the finish was the worst part so far, but that initial sip was really good. Got the woodiness, got the caramel, got the smokiness in there, but the woodiness up front was a real nice and light woodiness. Where it got a little bit weird was when it went to the back of the tongue and got into the finish, it got a little bit bitter on the wood, a little bit strong, like a fresh wood that you just licked. But let's try it again, see if we get the same notes. Just a nice, smoky, oaky caramel up front. This one, not quite as bitter on the back end, a little bit more vanilla on the back end, just a, maybe a hint of clove in there. I'm not, I'm not getting the cinnamon as much, or maybe a hint of clove. That one wasn't nearly as bitter, so maybe just a weird first sip there. So we're gonna go in for a third sip and get the final thoughts here on the Old Elk six-year-old single barrel neat. Yep, that's really good. You get just a hint, a hint of the sweet fruitiness in there. You get a lot, a lot of the smoked caramel, and you get a bunch of the oakiness, but it's a really nice oakiness. This time I did get a little bit more of that 
fresh cut bittery kind of oakiness on the finish but it does leave you with a nice vanilla caramel finish otherwise but it does have a little bit of that bittery oaky finish on the end so I still got a good amount in there so before I add the water I'm gonna drink a little bit more before we proof this thing down a little bit from the 111 proof so that was a big sip I took and interestingly enough that time I got more cherry in there I got a lot more cherry when I took the bigger sip that time but still smoky caramel really good really like this one so far see what we get when we add the little dash of water here the legs were okay they weren't anything to write home about there but that's okay when we're getting that nice profile that we got on that one so far this one's looking pretty good for the tier list we'll see how it goes the rest of the way so adding the water i get a campfire burnt cherry like if you were at a campfire and for some reason you were roasting cherries on a stick and you dropped that sucker in the fire and you picked it out that's what I'm getting when I add the water here on that one. That's a first. I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever described a nose as that such before. Okay, with the water added, get a whole lot more vanilla up front and a lot more bitter on the back. So I think I would go without the water added on this one. I would go 100% of the time neat over water added. But let's try it on the rocks, see if that's any different. Pretty much same nose, except maybe on the rocks is mostly kind of smokiness like an oaky smokiness on the rocks okay so on the rocks you get a lot more cherry up front a little bit less of the caramel you still get the wood and the smokiness but more cherry less caramel on the rock is what i'm getting yeah and you get a lot more of the oaky woodiness up front on the rocks here so old elk single barrel greg metz sir we have not met but i want to thank you for this bottle let's read what it says here just a portion on the back old elks bourbon uses four times more malted barley than conventional recipes creating a rich smooth flavor in harmony with caramel cues evoked by charred barrels and spicy notes of rye okay i didn't get too much of the rye on this particular one but you know they are single barrels or single barrel batches so, you know, they can change a good bit from one set to another set, which is why it's, it is hard to rate single barrels, especially on a, an overview, just because you're going to get that variation between barrel to barrel, bottle to bottle that people may get. But if you have the Tasters Club version of Old Elk Single Barrel Six Year Tasters Club Edition, you're going to like it. I really, really enjoyed it on the... Uh, neat pour that we did initially that smoky caramel oakiness was really nice got a hints of vanilla caramel in there just a little bit bitter on the end which was really the only part of this i didn't like like i said absolute a plus bottle i'm looking forward to trying some more stuff from old elk going here into the future but what are we going to do for the tier list today where are we going to put it well it's pretty easy for me this is going on the A tier. It's very good. It's going to go at the end of the A tier just because of the finish. I don't think it's going to overtake any of the bottles that we have up there already because of that finish, but it's definitely going to go up there on the A tier. So this is technically a 2022 bottled version because it is the Tasters Club edition, which came out for that. So this is new for 2022, at least this version. So if you guys have Tasters Club and you tried it out, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. It's going on the A tier. Make sure you check out all the links down in the description below for Patreon, uh, Distiller, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'm there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later.